Hey guys, it's Erin. Happily we go. And I am back this week for another PB and Journal Tuesday. First off, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me um, the time to grieve. I'll try and say this without getting all verklempt. Um, but uh, it truly was a struggle and I love you all so very much for the love and support that you've shown me. Okay, so now on to the journal. Now this week we have the little flip page here. So if you'd like to see how I create on this page today, then keep watching. All right, so we have this little flap here, and I originally saw this idea um, over on Instagram. My friend Megan Wisner Quinlan, I hope I didn't butcher that, um, she did this really cool flap out in her PB journal, and I thought I would love to do something like that as well. So I will link her down in the description box below, so be sure to check out her amazing art. She's fantastic. Um, and now we are just gonna throw down a little bit of gesso, and I'm gonna grab a bunch of greenish color Lindy sprays. And again, I will put all of the colors and the um, materials that I use down in the description box below, so be sure to check those out there. Once you have your sprays on, go ahead and get that dried up really good. We're going to do a couple rounds of this to build up our color. I'm not going to do anything to the back side. So I'm going to grab a stencil. I have this one here um, from iStencil. And you can use any stencil that you want. Obviously, one that's more intricate is going to take you a little bit longer to do. Um, so I'm going to line up my stencil here. And I think I'm going to like that configuration. So I'm going to take some tape. Actually, I'm going to grab my cutting mat first. And then I'm going to try and line up the stencil so I leave a border on the outside of the page. We don't want to cut everything out because then uh, we won't have a page anymore. We'll just have a lot of little bits and pieces. So I'm taping down my stencil. Now if you're afraid you might cut through your stencil, you can um, ink your stencil up and then cut out the areas that you would like to cut up. But I feel like having the stencil there for um, a guide helps me out a little bit more. So as you can see, I left the area on the top and on the side. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see. And then I'm gonna go around the stencil very slowly and carefully. Having a good sharp blade will work and do make sure that your paper is really dry or um, your knife may drag on it. As you can see here, I'm going to cut straight down to leave myself a little bit of border so I don't cut outside of that and uh, mess up my page. So make sure that when you are lining up your stencil that you leave a border as well. And with the power of technology, we fast forwarded and I'm done. So here is my finished little flap out. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? I really love how that turned out. Now while I was cutting this, I thought, geez, I should have added a stencil on top to just give it a little extra something. Um, so if you have not cut your page out, you could do this beforehand and make your life way easier. But I'm gonna use some Distress Inks here. And this is a Donna Downey script stencil. And I'm just gonna take two different color inks and go over the top of my little page. I wanted a little bit more stenciling on the leaves, so that's why I'm going back here and just adding um, a little bit of script here and there where I see fit. Mm -hmm. 
Now you could leave it just like this, but I wanted to add a backing to it. I did this on another page that I will show you guys in a couple weeks. It's a super secret project. Um, so I will show you how I did that right now. We're just gonna grab some plain old deli paper. This one has one of the wax sides on it, but we're gonna just crumple it up all crazy willy nilly. And I'm gonna grab my spray box here because this one might get a little bit more wet than the first page. And I'm gonna grab some Lindy's. Now on my super secret page, I did white with some shimmers that was absolutely gorgeous. But with the greenery, I thought it might be pretty to almost do like a skylight effect. So I'm doing some uh, pale blue and then also some white with some shimmers. And again, the colors I use will be down in the description box below. So I'm going to just kind of move the color around and some of the green from my fingers is actually coming off, but I think it gives it kind of a cool effect too. If you don't want your colors mixing, then make sure you wash your hands before you do this step. Make sure you get your color everywhere all over the deli paper. And once you've got it how you like it, go ahead and give it a good dry. You could skip this step if you like, but I'm going to take a scrap piece of fabric and put it over top of my deli paper and using a low heat, I'm going to iron the page just a little flat. It's gonna still leave that texture, but as you can see, it flattens it out some more. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Now we just have to decide where we want to glue our page down. Some of it has a little bit more white, some of that green showing through. So once you've got an idea of where you want it, your background, we're gonna grab the glue stick and glue all the little pieces on the back. Once you have it in place, grab a scratch piece of paper and just give it a good press so that way you have a good adhesion. And then we're going to grab scissors and go ahead and cut the page from the back. And our flip out is complete. So there you have it. You could finish this page if you like, add a sentiment, add some uh, uh, little ephemera pieces, whatever you like. But I think I'm going to use it as a transitional page as I'm not sure what I want to do on the next week's page. So we may finish it up then. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you a little bit of inspiration in how you can create in your paper bag journal or any journals really. Thank you so much for tuning in today and until next time, happy creating.